Hello YouTube, it's Sean back with another pickups video and uh, yeah I've got to say it will be the last ever pickup video that I film in this house. Um, mid uh, Middle of May my fiance Sam and I are going to be moving into our first house which is really exciting um, which led me to sort of sort through this game shelf here. Um, so I've condensed down my collection an awful lot really. Um, gotten rid of a fair few things um, and pretty much now this is my gaming collection. So uh, here we've got some um, bits and bobs like the PSP, we've got um, all of my PlayStation 2 games just here. I don't know if you can actually see it all that well with the light, but um, we're sort of making do at the moment. So um, got the PSP stuff here, PS3 stuff here um, and here, got some more Mega Drive stuff here, got some of my handheld consoles here like the RetroGen. All my sort of most used Mega Drive games are up here. Got the Operation Rebuy SNES collection just up the back there. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see that with the light. Possibly not. It's a bit dark this video, but basically we're just trying to sort of make do, record everything before we move, so I can store things away. Really. So um, yeah, really, really excited. It's something we've been saving for for an awful long time. So to finally have that come around uh, and um, you know be able to achieve it is a big, big goal. You know, we sort of saved for four years, so it's, it's absolutely crazy. So. Um, yeah, so the last video I will ever be filming in this house. Um, uh, yeah, just to sort of give you an update really, uh, videos around sort of the middle of May might be a bit sparse from me, um, sort of of current content, um, basically because when we move into the house, we won't have internet and stuff, so I'm sort of recording a backlog here of at least three videos I can upload over May um, and possibly sort of early June until we get the internet all installed and things like that. So um, yeah, just to sort of stay in contact with you guys really. Um, so, with moving um, comes the inevitable clear out of stuff and uh, yeah, um, this has been no different for me. <laughs> um, come across an awful lot of stuff, uh, stuff that has been really, really well received when I found it. Um, and uh, a lot of memories as well because I've gone through a lot of my old suitcases from when we moved originally from Cosham like 10 years ago and things like that. So, um, um, yeah, we sold the original family home back in uh, 2003, I believe, so sort of, there are suitcases that have been appearing with games in and things like that from there, and um, even suitcases from five years ago um, of things that we've picked up. So, um, yeah, uh, so let's start with the pickups then, and uh, one of my first ever things in a pickup video, I suppose, I should let you know, there is no Mega Drive pickups in this, it's going to be like a bit of Nintendo lovingness, there's a lot of Nintendo goodness here for you. Um, so first of all I'm going to start off with a console rebuy or console rediscovering should we say um, in that um, I picked up an old console that I sold on probably about sort of a year and a half two years ago um, and uh, yeah I started collecting for it again it's uh, a new collection with the Mega Drive stuff coming to a slight end and I've got all the console variants that I now want and to be honest, I've got most of the games I want. I can't see myself picking up a, a shed load more of me uh, Mega Drive games. It's more than likely going to be a few decent ones here, a few decent ones there. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how my collection's gone over the past few years. So, um, yeah, um, it's it's been fantastic, really, with the Mega Drive stuff. I've managed to get an awful lot in the past few years. And uh, to have that at the new place to, um, you know, uh, play on and stuff like that, it's going to be quite good because I've sort of achieved one of my goals with this channel. Um, but I don't feel I still will be picking up a lot of stuff for the Mega Drive, but it just, you know, literally it'll be a game here, a game there. But it's been nice to actually go through my whole collection and sort of uh, trim it down a bit. So pretty much all these games here I play, so maybe at the end I'll just sort of do a close-up so you can see what I mean about the collection. So, But um, anyway, so back to the console that I sold. The console um, was sold, but it was the first real console that I bought um, with my... I suppose first job money I suppose you can say um, would have been working in orders of Portsmouth at the time um, and uh, yeah I would have, would have worked a lot of overtime to buy it um, and it's one of the uh, consoles that I bought before the PS2 so anyone that knows me you know knows the channel history quite well they'll know exactly what it is for me just saying that but um, that console is the N64 now the N64 to me is a very very special console, um, like I said not only is it the first console that I ever bought, um, 
I've got some great memories of some absolute classic titles on this game, and this box here does this console absolute justice. Um, it's literally perfect condition. Now there is a roundabout story to this, <laughs> in that, um, yeah, I originally bought this for one of my friends last Christmas, this actual one here, um, to give to his uh, girlfriend, but they subsequently broke up and he never got to give it to her. Now, you mentioned a couple of weeks ago that um, I've still got this under my bed if you're interested, so I bought it back off of him for £30, which is what he paid for it, and um, yeah, so the rest is history. So um, I sort of originally bought this console for him on eBay about, um, so probably about a year ago, but it's all fully boxed, really, really happy with it. Now, the Ryan Shan watching, um, he done me an absolute brilliant deal because originally, I will tell you what prompted this rebuy. From sorting through things, I managed to find my older brother, who sadly is no longer with us. I managed to find my older brother's N64. Now this pin is in pretty good condition. Um, just a little bit dusty when I found it really. It all works perfectly, got all the cables and things, but it didn't have a controller. So, first thing I did was uh, contacted my good friend Ryan Chand and he done me a cracking, cracking deal on a controller. Now Ryan, I had your note here last night ready to read out, um, and uh, subsequently it's vanished. So, <laughs> unfortunately I'm gonna have to sort of uh, go from memory. Uh, Ryan sent a great note as always, always sends a note in with his eBay packages, and done me a great deal on this. Um, got a lot of time for Ryan, he's going through a lot of, uh, lot of problems at the moment with, uh, with just life really. Um, it all happen it happens to all of us, mate. Um, but just keep your chin up and get through it. We're all here for you. You're a, you're a top guy on YouTube, brilliant channel. Um, I love watching your content anyway, so uh, keep your chin up, mate. And um, yeah, just keep making those videos, and uh, you will get through family. You will get through every sort of problem that you've got um, that you've currently going through, my friend. Um, like I said, Ryan's uh, one of those guys that you know I watch quite a lot. He's I would say he's probably, I mean, I don't have many mobile numbers for YouTubers, but he's one of the guys that I've got a, a mobile number for. Often speak to him, and he's always a nice guy. I've never had any problems dealing with him and things like that. So, Ryan hooked me up with this amazingly uh, coloured, blue coloured Pompey uh, controller, should we say, uh, which he actually referenced in his uh, letter that he sent to me, um, which meant that I could actually use the N64, which was... Uh, <laughs> You know, a big, big must for me because uh, having this without one of these is is pretty much pointless. So, so um, yeah, Ryan did me a great deal on that controller, and uh, yeah, forever grateful. With the N64 as well, um, found some of Glenn's old games. They're all here. So another Operation Rebuy down the line, more than likely the Rebox these, and uh, they are Top Gear Rally, pretty good condition. One that will definitely uh, hold memories for me. I remember playing this back in the day briefly, and that is F1 Grand Prix Challenge. Pretty easy to pick up fully boxed, that is on eBay. I think it's uh, usually you can get it from under a fiver delivered. Torex Seeds of Evil. Seeds of Evil? Seeds of Evil. Um, not great condition, that one, but we'll sort that out. And the other one which I have played, got great party memories of, is Mario Golf. Again, pretty good condition. So, four games with that collection for Glenn's N64. Really happy with that actually, so another sort of operation rebuy I suppose, should we say. Um, yeah, it'll be quite good actually for another Nintendo console, so it's all good. Um, yes, yeah, so I was really, really happy to pick this up, um, sort of fully boxed, so now basically what will happen is the N64 in here will be sold on. Basically I might sell, the ca I'll probably sell the cables on as well, just to move it on so the box is vacated and Glenn's in N64 will then go in there, safe and sound and it can be stored away and so, you know, so on. So, as I said, there's no Mega Drive pickups in this. It's a bit weird looking down in and seeing no Mega Drive pickups. Um, yeah, so I rebought some games and put them into box protectors and things like that, um, which I'm, you know, I'm really, really loving the box protectors at the moment. I think they really give something to your collection that, you know, you don't always have with a, a video game collection when they're sort of cardboard cases. So, um, the first game I bought was WrestleMania 2000. Now, WrestleMania 2000 is um, one of those games I've got I've got vague memories of, but my main memories uh, for wrestling games on the N64 are with the following game. Um, but these are all fully boxed, and I've got a great deal on these. And this one's quite cool, actually, because I remember this being in the shops. Um, and it's got like a holographic thing on the back here, which you can just see. Yeah, you can. 
basically it's here, and it's the same behind, but the front card is basically hologrammed. And uh, the boxes are all pretty good, no crushing. Well, there is a little bit of crushing here. And um, I'll do everything here now, because I've probably got some footage into the side. Um, yep, so we've got the cartridge, obviously. Really good condition. And the tray's built in in this one, but we've got the manual and the little pamphlet thing. Yeah, I've got good memories of this game. When it came out, um, I was sort of uh, just finishing up with wrestling, but uh, watching it occasionally. And uh, yeah, this was this is pretty good, this game. I really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I uh, didn't have a lot of memories of it back in the day, um, but I played it fleetingly, shall we say, every now and again. So um, yeah, and it's box protector. These, these games do look absolutely fantastic. Really, really happy to have these in the collection. Um, anyone that is on the fence about buying sort of box protectors for your uh, SNES or um, N64 stuff, they fit perfect, absolutely perfect, couldn't be happier with these uh, box protectors for the job they are doing for my collection so far. So like I said, most of my wrestling game memories, I'm a big wrestling game fan, come from this game here. Um, there is another game as well that I've got a lot of wrestling memories on and uh, we'll get to that down the line obviously when I pick that game up. Um, and that game is WWF No Mercy. So, WWF No Mercy, why does this hold so many memories for me? Well, this game is just, it's one of those games, that I, when I bought it, um, it was one of the first games I ever bought for this console. Um, and I remember paying £40 for it at the time, and uh, I'd done some overtime to pay for it and stuff like that. So, um, really, really happy to get this in the collection, guys. It was one of the first games I've seeked out once. Um, uh, once I got the N64, and um, let me just show you a bit of box art. So, again, pretty good condition. Uh, one thing was wrong with it is that the corner down here was actually crushed when it arrived. Um, but since going to the box protector, it's actually uh, sorted itself out. You can just sort of see here, possibly just see. So, yeah, um, since it's arrived, popped it in the box protector and it's sorted out. So, the cartridge in pretty good condition again. That's the thing that these N64 can, um, uh, cartridges really seem to sort of uh, feel solid. You know, it's not like a Mega Drive, not often you feel one that's shaking and stuff like that, it's got bits in it. So, again, manual and instruction pamphlet, both in amazing condition. Yeah, I remember doing so much overtime to buy this game uh, when I was at Alders of Portsmouth. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I went and bought it one lunchtime and I couldn't wait to get home. Um, in fact, um, I remember when I bought it actually, uh, the bus ride seemed to take forever. And if I woke up as a kid again, sort of waiting to get home and play on this. Um, it was one of the games that uh, you might remember in the old day retro game stores, which we now classify them as. as um, this was one of the ones on the big TV at the front of the stall. Um, so you often saw it whenever you went in there during lunch hours and things like that. And, uh, it was one of the games I just could not wait to buy. So, um, yeah, these two games basically, I bought them together in the same seller. Um, and uh, he gave me a really good deal on them actually because one of the games didn't sell in an auction. He had it on for £15 by it now. Um, so I sent him off an offer for both of these. Um, I won this one for, no, I won this one for £8. Um, but it was three pound delivery. This one was buy now 15. So I done a deal with him for seven pound and then the eight pound and then the postage on top of it. And he accepted. So <laughs> I got all of these. I think the total I paid was 16.50 for both of these. Really, really happy. And it's, it's really difficult now to really find these games in good condition. So to get them with sort of limited scuffage and you know crushing and stuff like that. Especially this one, what I've got a lot of memories of with my younger and older brother. Not so much my older brother, actually. My younger brother definitely playing on this. Such a fantastic game, and I'd recommend uh, WF No Mercy 21. It holds up now. You can still play it. I've played it tons since it's come into the collection. Um, and uh, some people say wrestling games don't hold up very well because of the blockiness or the uh, breakage of uh, the cases, which has uh, just been shown there. Um, but I totally disagree. Um, this game here has to be one of my favourite all-time games. It's so funny to look back on and play. And the memories I had um, uh, as a 20-year-old um, after buying this, it was all relived. But um, playing this again, then I've played it for hours since I've picked it up. So um, WRF No Mercy into the collection there. Really, really happy with that. And also WrestleMania 2000. Now the next one is a uh, another 
bundled by, really. I bundled another item with it, which again didn't sell. I think what happened with that one is I thought, well, I'll try my luck with this as well. So that's what I ended up doing. So the next game is a game I've actually done a review for on my channel, and uh, it's probably one of my most viewed videos behind Ronaldo v Football, and that is the classic, um, fully boxed, really good condition version of GoldenEye 007 GoldenEye. Fantastic game back in the day, groundbreaking, you know the story. Um, doesn't hold up particularly well today, but the gameplay is still there. It's still a fantastic game to play. Um, yeah, so this is fully boxed in amazing condition again. Ooh, as everything falls out of the box. Uh, this one does come with a tray and the cartridge in it. Also comes with a load of uh, load of gump inside of it, uh, which we've got actually we've got a poster. We'll I'll we'll do that here. So. We've got the manual, we've got the pamphlet, and we've got another Nintendo registration card. And we have a poster, actually. Um, I do love the old games when they came with these posters. So, we've got a poster here for the Nintendo 64. Really good condition. And the Game Boy. So, that comes with it. That was in there. Yeah, GoldenEye, fantastic game. Many memories of this back in the day. Um, I mean, who doesn't remember GoldenEye? Probably one of the most iconic games. Um, and it's, uh, I believe it's actually rated the best game on the system. I think it was IGN when I've done the review. I remember doing a lot of, um, a lot of research into the um, best-selling games for the N64, and this one was definitely up there. So GoldenEye back into the collection in fantastic condition. Couldn't be happier. Um, so basically, when you buy an N64, you have to buy the following game with it. It seems it's a bit like Mario All-Stars. Um, it's everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And I got it bundled with this next game here, but the funny thing is I actually bought the box and manual only um, because the cartridge came with the console that I bought my friend, which I then bought back. So I knew I could just look around for a good condition box and manual and proper in the right place at the right time. I managed to score myself a perfectly good copy, perfectly acceptable for my collection anyway, copy of Super Mario 64. Now, like I said, this thing here is is pretty good condition, to be honest, for considering its age and its popularity, where this box would have just been discarded straight away as they ran, you know, tore the cartridge out and, and wanted to play it. Um, talking about groundbreaking games, these two here are probably the most groundbreaking games you're ever going to find for any system. Um, Super Mario 64 was the first time we saw Mario in a 3D environment, and um, man, did they do a good job. Um, doesn't hold up great today, if I'm being honest. It's playable. It's been released, I believe, the actual port of the game has been released. Uh, I've showed you the box already. Uh, the actual port of the game has been released on the 3DS, I believe, or the DS. This again comes with its own um, cartridge protector, little box. Um, and it comes with a manual and another registration card thingy, whatever. Um, and it comes with another poster, so I'll show you this now. Um, this one basically has just got Mario on the front, I think. So, yeah, we've got another one here. We've got another poster. Another Game Boy on the pack, so really pushing this. I suppose this was when the uh, Game Boy Pockets came out. So, yeah, Game Boy Pockets when they came out. So, yeah, um, yeah, um, basically, um, you know, these games were just groundbreaking back in the day. So, to pick them up in the same auction was fantastic. Um, so yeah, what happened was uh, I already had the games cartridge for this. So all I needed to do was buy this. So I was in the right place at the right time because someone was selling a box. Obviously, you know, they just had a box hanging around so they decided to get rid of it. And uh, I scored the box of £2.50, which I couldn't believe how lucky I was considering the games cartridge wasn't going to cost me anything. Um, so when it came in, effectively, I've got a, I've got a, um, a copy of Mario 64, I'd say for, yeah, under three quid. Um, so, what's the price then? This ended up cost me £11 an auction, and like I said, I won this for about 250 So, postage on this, they done recorded seconds, so what's that, 390 So, straight away, we're looking at, I would say, around, let's say on the sort of 1750 something like that for these two. Classic in this condition, just could not be happier to get these two into the collection. Um, and, uh, yeah, they look pretty cool sitting up there on the, uh, on the shelf with the box protectors on. Um, and it's a great way to signify my collecting, uh, signify the start of my collecting for the N64. Um, just such a great console from back in the day, and it'll be a, one that I do um, a video on, like I've just done, like I did uh, a couple of weeks ago for my Commodore 64. 
Um, basically going over my top five games. So N64 goodness into the collection, a fully boxed console with memories and some classic titles in my opinion. Really, really happy to have those. So that signifies um, pretty much my pickups. <laughs> but um, I did actually find another console or a handheld whilst I was uh, clearing up. And I can't remember if I've ever covered this on my channel before, but um, it was my younger brother Ed's uh, Nintendo SP, Game Boy SP. Now, this thing is fully boxed. Um, I remember Ed buying this from, I believe at the time, it would have been Electronics Boutique um, back in, I'd say, early 2000s. But this thing here, it's like brand new. The box is a bit damaged, and I was hoping when the screen protectors would, uh, the case protectors would fit it. But unfortunately, it's slightly too big, um, so it wouldn't fit. But uh, I was hoping I'd be able to put it in one of those. But um, yeah, so I got the box here. Absolutely fantastic condition, really, uh, considering its age. Um, so we've got a little cutout here, which tells you what colour it is. A um, little bit of scuffage around the sides, but perfectly happy to put this in the collection with memories. Um, so let's take it out. Basically, we've got absolutely everything in here. Um, as he tries to wrestle to get it out. Ooh. Okay, so we have the actual SP. And uh, when I picked it up, um, when I found it actually, I found Middle of Honor. Um, I'm pretty sure I have covered this on my channel. But uh, the actual thing still works as well. The batteries in there actually work. So really, really happy to get this into the collection with memories also being fully boxed. I'm not going to have to seek out a box and things. So um, in this one episode, I've gotten two Nintendo things, um, both of which were, you know, even my older brother or younger brother's um, original things. So really, really happy to get this into the collection, guys. And it might signify me picking up some more games for the Game Boy. Um, I'm not going to go 100% on that. Um, yeah. That shouldn't be like that. Typical. I played it the other the other day when I found it, and it was absolutely fine. Just to prove it's not broken. Um, yeah, so to be able to find this was just absolutely um, mind blowing. Really, to be able to find two consoles that my brothers have played since we move out. There we go. It's all working now. Um, to be able to find two consoles that my uh, brothers have played. Um, and uh, bought stuff for, it's pretty good. So um, I'm really, really happy to have this into the collection along with the N64. Um, and uh, yeah, what else can I say really? But it, it also comes with all of the uh, paperwork, all in amazing condition, really. I mean, knowing my younger brother, he never even read it. So um, absolutely everything here. Got the Game Boy pamphlets, instruction manuals, two instruction manuals to be honest. Oh, that's a register. Um, so yeah, we've got all that, um, and you know, sort of a proper find to be honest. I wasn't expecting to be able to find this all in amazing condition um, as it is. And also, like I said, it's the original one from Ed, so that'll go in the collection with the N64 Glens and come to the new house with me. So it's nice, got a little bit of both my brothers there to uh, sort of keep with me at all times in the new place. So, so. That signifies the end of my pickups and the last time we're going to be seeing this sort of setup. Um, a bit weird, really. Um, yeah, I'm going to be boxing a lot of stuff up over the next few weeks. Um, weeks? I've literally got a week till we move. Um, we exchanged yesterday on the house, so it's literally now just uh, sorting out everything, uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's, and then going to pick up the keys and things like that. So, um, yeah, there is, a, there is another thing as well. Um, I am actually uh, going to be starting a new collection on my channel, well, apart from those consoles that I just referenced. It's a console that I've really, really you know, grown a lot of love for the past, um, I'd say, since Christmas actually. I've been looking at a lot of gameplays on YouTube from you guys and you know, collection videos and stuff, and it's something that really is starting to uh, interest me. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, I've actually got one of the games fully boxed up there already. Uh, but that will be for the uh, console unveiling or handheld unveiling. What's it going to be? So, um, man of mystery, man of mystery I am. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll let you know what that is in probably the next video. Um, possibly the first video in my new house, which will be quite fitting, to be honest, because when I moved to this house, um, I unveiled my Mega Drive full set collecting aspirations 
which uh, then fell by the wayside. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, just to let you know, obviously, um, I'm obviously going to possibly be a little bit quiet throughout May. Um, I would say basically because uh, of the house move. So if I'm not responding to comments and things like that, please don't be offended. Um, you know, I'm not responding to comments for a reason because I, I can't effectively. My phone's not really up to responding to YouTube clips and stuff. It, it doesn't handle stuff very well. It's getting a bit old now. Old and set in its ways. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't think my iPhone's long to this world, should we say. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so um, basically, to summarise this video, uh, new collection starting for a new handheld or a console. Um, picked up an N64, which was my older brother's. Picked up a fully boxed version of an N64, which this one can go live in. Picked up four games towards, uh, towards the collection in WWF No Mercy, WWF WrestleMania 2000, Mario 64, and GoldenEye. Um, couldn't be happy with the N64 pickups really. And also not to forget, thank you to Ryan Chan again for the kind controller deal. Um, and we got the Game Boy SP from Ed, and also some of Glenn's N64 titles. So really, really happy to dig those out and find them just before we leave. Um, and uh, yeah, couldn't be happier, guys. So um, anyway, um, what I'm going to do actually is just pan through the shelves. I'll grab the camera off the stand, and uh, I'll finish the video off that way as your final look at my gaming collection in uh, in the old house so um anyway guys um for me in this part of the video um thanks for all the new subscribers thanks for everyone who's followed me in this house and sort of uh you know um track the collection and things like that it's been a real real joy to actually record this and uh, to really get into the youtube scene um but uh, anyway i'll flick over to the uh, shelf now and i'll quickly guide you through what i've got and uh we'll finish off the video that way right so i've had to shine this rather bright light onto this stuff because it's a dark corner of the room this in the house um, but yeah basically I've managed to condense all of my uh, video game collection into this one well two shelves really in the corner which I'm pretty happy with because I don't want this collection taking over my life in the new house so so um, yeah just to reference what I've got really so top here we got some of the Operation Rebuy things in uh, we got some free ones here I still need their case in Mario's Missing and Super Mario World. So they live up the top there. And then ingeniously behind, we've got a little flick thing with Aladdin in the background there. Mario All Stars at the front, Donkey Kong and Starwing behind. So that was the thinking behind that. Um, so obviously up there somewhere over the next week or so, I'll pop the N64 titles and they can stay out there safe and sound whilst I'm boxing things up. Uh, along this part of the shelf, I've got all of my Mega Drive games. I've got some pretty decent titles now. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with the Mega Drive collection the way it is. Um, and uh, just got some Saturn stuff now coming into view. Um, so that's some of my Saturn titles. Um, not got a great collection on the Saturn, but it's a console that I'll definitely be looking to pick some more stuff up for. Um, so we've got some stuff there. I think behind that also, we'll have a look in a minute. But I've got some other bits and bobs. So we've got some more things here. Demolition Man, some of my Street Fighter games. Um, actually... I absolutely love this game, Micro Machines Military. I popped it on the other night just to play before football, and uh, it never disappoints that game. It always brings a different aspect to the uh, Micro Machine games. So, behind these, I basically have some more uh, Mega Drive games um, here. So, we've got Comic Zone, Sensible Soccer, and in the corner here, I've got like things like Mutant League Football, Hockey, and stuff like that. Behind the Saturn games, I've got some more games, I'm, you know, they're, they're games that I own and got a lot of memories off, but I'm not going to play an awful lot, so things like Theme Park, which is right in the corner there, opposite, uh, just uh, behind FIFA 96 for the Saturn, and uh, yeah, so basically those games, they run all the way behind here, just to double stack them on this part of the shelf really, but um, yes, yeah, so I've got a really, really good collection actually, one thing I did think about doing was actually, as I box these games up, um, was go through my collection, um, which I still might do to be honest because I've got a fair good amount of uh, you know titles in the actual collection now. Really, really happy, proud of my collection actually. Um, I can honestly say that every game in the collection now, after I've sort of um, weaned out some of the other titles, I actually play. So um, yeah, so let's move down to the other shelf and I'll try and pull the light down as it tries to take a swig of my drink. Um, 
Right, I think that might be as good as we're going to get. So, let's start from the corner here. So, in the corner, we have my PSP stuff up at the back here. Um, we've also got my Vita case just here. <coughs> Sorry about that, early in the morning. Um, some PSP titles, not a massive amount, like I've said, but a few of those games I actually play every now and again. Grand Theft Auto, obviously, being the standout title. Um, let's just move the PSPs and I can show you PS2 games I've got there. So again, a bit similar to the uh, PSP collection. A few games there, but you know they're games that were either owned by my younger brother and me, or just games I've picked up. Um, without knowing it, I've actually assembled a quite good collection um, of PS1 uh, games. And one game I really want to do a review on when I get a chance is a game I've got a lot of memories of. So as I drop some of the games there. So as you can see, the bottom shelf here is just a tangled mess of wires. So <laughs> is one game I want to do a review on is Overboard. Now Overboard is a game I have massive memories of back in the day and I recently found that in a charity shop. Oh, no, no, not a charity shop. One of my friends, Jimmy, gave it to me. I sold some PSP games for him. PS2, PSP and PS2 games. Um, and uh, he just said, just have this one. So I was like, well, okay. Um, it's one of those games that it's basically you're in a pirate ship and you go around just absolutely bombing the hell out of uh, other players. But it's a really, really decent game. Um, some screenshots here. Uh, basically, yeah, uh, just open world thing where you just go around and, uh, yeah, use your boat to bomb other boats, um, pirate ships and things. But there's the levels are like mazes from memory. I vaguely remember Ed having a demo disc of it back in the day. So, yeah, sort of really, really happy to find that. And uh, I think it actually goes for like about 10 to £15 pound on eBay. So it's a game I wouldn't necessarily have actually bought uh, back in the day. So, yeah, really, really happy to have that in the collection. So... That's basically what's behind the PSP stuff and the uh, beta. Let's just move that there. There we go, all sorted. So, the beta collection is thus the three games. We've got the uh, Mega Drive pad for soap, which is there, still wrapped. Let's pop the PSP up there. And here is my PS3 collection. Pretty happy with that. Play most of these games, to be honest. Oh yeah, a few more Mega Drive games and Mario sneaking into shot. But um, that's a quick look at my uh, PS3 collection. We've got the Uncharted games and Mega Drive memories right at the bottom. We've got the uh, Game Genie and some more Mega Drive titles with Mario and his birthday badges sitting there. Now, I'm going to explain that bubble wrap in a minute, but I have explained that in a previous video. Um, so yeah, that's my gaming collection in the corner of my old room. Um, how it will sit in the new room, I've got a vague idea how it will do. And uh, and um, yeah, so basically I've got a vague idea of how it will do, and how I'm going to store it, how I'm going to show it and things like that. But um, yeah, for now that is the gaming collection and the setup. So, I had a real damp problem in this corner of the room. Not that I wet myself, So, uh, but um, the actual shelf has got rising damp behind it. Um, I'll tell you what actually, I could probably show you the extent of it. I did actually cover this on a previous video. But what I did is I made a makeshift damp proof membrane. <laughs> As you can see at the back of that shelf, it's horrible. But the bubble wrap's done a pretty decent job if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it's horrible. It's just where it's in a dark corner of the room and the walls in this building aren't insulated unfortunately yeah so it's pretty invested and uh, basically what I did is I put the bubble wrap all the way out the back which is quite easy to do obviously set of tape and cling film and bits and bobs like that and uh, yeah my games have stayed um, have well stayed uninfected by the damp in the house should we say but um, yeah so that is my video game collection guys, until it's all boxed up and uh, reaches the new house. This video will sort of signify what I've got, to be honest, but um, yeah. So, and up there, I still have my Sonic the Hedgehog, which I am actually going to do a video on. Um, I picked this up, well I didn't pick it up, my um, amazing fiance Sam bought that for me one Christmas. I was really, really happy with that. So um, yeah, we'll do a video on this, and uh, we can take a look. Obviously, obviously, as you can tell here, Sonic's a bit dusty, 
but I'm hoping to give him more pride of place in the new house. So, um, yeah. So, the video game collection, guys. Like I said in the end of the last video, might not have much sort of in the way of um, content from my channel, current day content, but um, I've got a lot of stuff recorded for you guys to upload. So, um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. I'll be back in the new house with a, uh, another video soon. And uh, take care of yourselves till then. Please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.